I had two goals at this summit on the economy. First, to support the euro area's efforts to bring stability to the eurozone while protecting Britain's sovereignty. And second, to win support for an ambitious, pro-growth, pro-market agenda for Europe. Let me take each in turn. I've always said that a strong eurozone is in Britain's national interest. 40% of our trade is with eurozone countries. And we want the euro to be a successful currency and to, support out, and to sort out the issues and problems that there have been. So I welcome the steps that Eurozone countries are committing to take today. But I've also said that Britain isn't in the Euro, Britain isn't going to be joining the Euro, and so it's right we shouldn't be involved in the Euro area's internal arrangements. That is why I secured in December a commitment which carves Britain out of future Eurozone bailout arrangements, and why we're not joining the pact that the Euro area countries have agreed today. On my second goal, getting Europe growing, the progress today we've made, and you'll see in the conclusions, is very, very welcome. Coming to this council, I organised a letter that was signed by nine, other, by nine countries in total, making the case for action on growth, on deregulation, on completing the single market, on extending it to services, on taking Europe in a more liberal, more market, more growth orientated approach. I think this ha has had a real impact. And it's not just now Britain making the argument, there's also Sweden, Denmark, the Netherlands, Finland, Poland, Latvia, Lithuania and Estonia. And as a result, the European Council has agreed today that, and I quote, the single market has a key role to, to play in delivering growth and that we should bring new impetus to our efforts to complete it. We also agreed that the overall regulatory burden should be reduced uh, and we also concluded that the Doha round and other free trade agreements that have been immensely powerful should be done in 2011. Obviously, there's more that needs to be done, but I do believe this is a strong start. And I was particularly heartened uh, on the language there will be on micro-enterprises and exempting micro-enterprises from future regulations for their first five years of existence. You would have noticed in the budget... Uh, in the UK, we had a moratorium on regulation for small businesses. It looks as if we're going to be achieving something like that here in the European Union as well.